I'm John Weber. I'm an illustrator and artist from Brisbane, Australia. I began my studies as an illustrator at QCA, which is Queensland College of Art, but I quickly changed across to major in painting and uh, art history. The work I do day to day varies a lot, depends on what project uh, I'm working on, whether it's commission work or work to be hung in a gallery, personal or for clients, uh, but generally it centers around illustrative work or abstract work uh, in my art practice. I'm currently focusing on a single piece in a, a larger collection of works which I'll be, be using for um, a few things upcoming. The collection of works are called The Sitting Room. Uh, it's focused around a similar bunch of images with um, subtle variations, I guess. Um, a kind of amalgamation of very vacant type of environments uh, taken from abandoned rooms and historic rooms and, and rooms of composition that I find interesting and then blending them with this idea of uh, the, an inner turmoil or uh, something that's on your mind um, which I think everyone can relate to. I think, yeah, I just learned with series um, concepts to really control the idea a lot more in terms of what comes across from your perspective to the viewer rather than the other way around, which kind of led on from um, something I learned from my lecturer, painting lecturer, Pat Hoffey in QCA, where she sort of said, oh, unless you've got something to tell me, I don't want to, why would I look at this? I'm not going to waste my time with you. I'm going to look at someone that is there to tell me something I don't know. And that kind of reverberated with me a lot. And it was a good point because up to there, we all, we're sort of saying, oh, it's up to the viewer, it's up to, up to the viewer, and it's, it's not. Um, you're there to actually come up with something that is, is both yours, but it's, it's ours, but I'm telling it to you, um, not in an egotistic way. It's just something that, you know, is specific that only you can, you can do. So I think you definitely have a responsibility to almost be a mouthpiece in, in the works rather than just a, a tool for the audience. The inspiration behind the sitting room collection was actually a sketch I did on the fly out of nowhere one night when I was quite frustrated with doing some more, uh, how, how should I say, commercial work. More and more I'm kind of interested by looking into um, the source material and, and twisting that with my own vision to sort of come up with something um, and that that goes across everything actually I've been really looking at lighting and anatomy and things like that to to kind of create more drama in the work but in terms of stylistically and how everything looks uh, 
I was getting really interested in, in particularly traditional forms of um, mark making and illustration like etching and, and getting back into classic comic art and stuff like that. So I was kind of looking to combine my abstract practice with my illustrative ones and reflect places that I wanted to sort of be in or in a dreamlike state sort of thing. It was just kind of a, a merging together of the different sort of stylistic ideas that I was beginning to get back into or was fresh. Ink is such a specific medium because it's kind of do or die. There's not really any way you can save a work if you make major mistakes with it. And for someone who is not naturally given to you know following through with with slow process and drafting ideas it's a huge challenge for me personally but it's also really on edge all the time it's kind of nerve-wracking when you're doing the final final stages of works because you, see, you know at any time if you make a mistake or if something goes wrong that the whole thing can be ruined I'd rather someone hate my work completely than appreciate it by bringing in things purely to enjoy it for their own reasons, um, which have nothing to do with how the work was intended. I think that would be every artist's worst failing. It's kind of like when someone asks a question and all they really want to do is answer it themselves. And I, I hate that. <laughs> That's going to make me look like some villainous cock stain. But yeah, maybe we can pop that. Maybe we should do it again, but you have your jacket just not, not on, but draped over your shoulders. Yeah. Go, that would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>